loosely on, as told by Ginger. And it's so tiny and compact that it could fit in my little makeup bag, you know? You know, I don't have a look, I don't have a look, I don't have a look, I don't have a, look, I don't have a big one. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for clicking on this video because no one really clicks on it and I love you already if you don't leave any bad comments that's for sure but today we're going to talk about products that deserve more hype in the makeup industry I'm telling you there's these products and nobody really talks about them but people need to talk about them more because they are great products and I use them like all the time so the first product I actually want to talk about is my Lorac Pro 3 palette it had like a little bit of fame when it first came out but like not a lot of people actually use this I think it's because most people think of it as a neutral palette and like most people already have these shades but I think that this is a unique grouping of eyeshadows that I really really like I mean you have your dark sultry colors on this corner you have your lighter neutral colors all on the rest of the palette and I really like all these transition colors and all these shimmery colors, you know, except the medallion color. Nobody likes that one. All these transition colors blend out beautifully in all of these, well, except the medallion color. All of these shimmery shades actually come out pretty good as well. I use it almost like all the time because this terracotta shade, the best shade, I'm telling you. This palette deserves more love from, like, everybody. Not a lot of people actually talk about Lorac eyeshadows in general. Like, I know their Lorac unzipped palettes are beautiful, and no one really talks about it. Like, why don't people talk about it? Like, I talk about you, but, like, nobody really talks about it, and, like, people should just get onto the bag line game because this is so good i mean i'm pretty sure beauty gurus get sent these eyeshadows and they know how amazing they are but they don't talk about it like why don't you talk about the beauty of this you could create so many looks with this beauty gurus like get it get it do it please for me the next two products i want to talk about are actually lipsticks these are the two lipsticks that i want to talk about this lipstick is beautiful this is the Dose of Colors lipstick in Toast, and it's the creamiest little lipstick ever. It comes out like this, like you can't twist it down anymore, and it's so beautiful. I mean, I'm so into my nude colors, and like this is the perfect nude for me. It's like browny, but like a little orangey, so like it's perfect. If I could put it on for you, I would, but I'm not going to put it on for you because you know, I already got this darn lipstick that does not come off. Come on, Kylie Cosmetics. Like, give me something that takes off these liquid lipsticks or something. And and this I used for like a week straight one time because I loved it so much. How can you like resist the packaging? Like it matches my little backdrop. Like, can you see it? But I'm pretty sure the other shades are really good as well. But I only have this shade. I literally only have this shade because like these cost like $20. No one really wants to buy a $20 lipstick. But like I did because look at, like, look at the packaging. Look at it. I never really had a dose of color lipstick before this, but I really recommend the dose of color lipstick after this because, like, this is the best lipstick in the whole entire world. Get it, get it, get it. The next lipstick is my Ingenuous Lipstick from Sephora. And this is the Your Lips But Better lipstick that I always, always, always talk about. It deserves more hype because, like, it's, like, cheaper compared to all of the other lipsticks that I buy. This is a Sephora lipstick that no one really usually talks about. And it's probably because it's the Sephora brand. I mean, the Sephora brand has a lot of products that are actually good, but people don't really turn to it because it's not name brand. I mean, it's Sephora brand, but it's, like, not, like, the Givenchy or not, like, Thai and stuff like that and I'm just like people need to get onto this because if not I'll buy all the lipsticks on the shelves like literally get it get it I have never heard about anybody talk about this Revlon Colorstay liquid liner it is black of course because who wears eyeliner other than black and it has like a felt tip but it's like stiff I don't really know how to explain it because it's not a brush tip and it's not really a felt tip and like I don't know it's just so beautiful and like it gives you so much precision and control not like the brush tip because you know the brush tip don't give you that much but like the felt tip in this gives you so much control you can do those perfect wings every single time and no one needs to talk about your ugly wings and i think it deserves more hype because it is actually a drugstore product and no one really talks about drugstore products anymore they talk about the high-end product and the next product i actually love and i love 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 this like literally love this and this is the bare minerals invisible light powder duo and it is 
beautiful. It like melts into your skin and leaves your eyes so beautiful once you're done setting them. And I'm just like, whoa there. Whoa there, girlfriend. You need these. I have no words to say about this because I've literally talked about it so much before. Now, the last product I wanted to talk about is the BH Cosmetic Warm Stone Palette. And I love this palette. The outside packaging is beautiful, as you can see. And then we have warm tones in the inside. Well, kind of all warm tones. I'm not really sure how to categorize warm tones and neutral tones. Sometimes they confuse me. But I love all these shades and they blend in so nicely. And this palette is literally like $5 right now. It's on sale for like 70% off. And like, I can't even explain. Let me just do a close up so you can see all the amazing swatches that you could get from this. Because I literally love this palette and no one really talks about it. And I'm just like, why don't you talk about it? Because like it's just that amazing i just watch them every time i just look at the palette because it's just that amazing and people deserve to talk about this more because you could create so many looks from this it has dark shades and light shades and neutral shades and medium tone shades and i'm just like <sighs> i die every time i look at it so guys you actually made it to the end of my video Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or a million thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel and join my family, subscribe right here. And if you want to receive post notifications, hit the bell button as well. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I usually use that. I kind of have a Facebook, but like, don't search that up. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.